Welcome back everyone. In today's quick tips, we will be discussing the different color settings available to you within Sawgrass Print Utility. Underneath the print settings, you will find the color management tab. From here, you have four different color modes available to you, including photographic, vibrant, grayscale, and custom. The photographic mode works best when you want the printout to have realistic, lifelike colors. This will provide color results that are most accurate when compared to your original design. For example, if you were printing out team or company colors, you would want to use photographic for those projects so that the colors matched up to the real life color palettes. Vibrant, on the other hand, is the color mode that you will use when you want to enrich the color output of your project. It will saturate the levels of color in your project, and this mode works great when printing out computer-generated materials such as graphics or clip art. The grayscale option removes color altogether from your project so that you can print out a black and white image if ever needed. You can also adjust your grayscale settings at any point by clicking these buttons here. The final color mode available to you is the ability to create custom color configurations for your projects. These configurations give you maximum control over your color preferences. And because this setting is a little bit more in depth, I will go through some of the finer details of it. The first few sliders listed here will give you control over the color tones within your design. This allows you to emphasize certain color tones over others. For example, if you want to emphasize the color red, you can simply adjust the color slide, apply it to the design, and it will increase the red colors within your project. Just be aware that if you want to increase the red coloring in your design, you will lose cyan in that process. The same effects applies to the relationship between green and magenta, as well as blue and yellow. From here, you can also adjust the brightness of your design, which is how much light is reflected onto the design. You can lighten or darken your projects at any point. And remember, you do need to hit apply to apply the configuration settings to the design. Changing the hue is changing the colors within the design itself. When you adjust the hue, you are adjusting the colors in relationship to their color family. For example, a darker hue of red will appear more burgundy or maroon, while a lighter hue will appear more like coral, for example. Saturation changes how vivid the colors appear to the user. High saturation results in more intense colors, while low saturation results in more washed out colors. I'll go in here and let's lessen the saturation, hit apply. And you'll see it kind of mutes the overall color of the design. The last of these color settings is contrast. And contrast, when adjusted, will change the relationship between the blacks and whites within the color of a design. A strong contrast causes your blacks to be as black as they can be and your whites to be as white as they can be. Lessening the contrast results in muting the overall color of your design, while increasing the contrast causes colors to become starker in their differences. The custom color configuration option gives users the ability to build their own color configurations from scratch. You can save these configurations, load them, and apply them to any of the designs you bring here within Sawgrass Print Utility. That's all for today. See you next time.